Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday's Thought for the Day. Over the last two days, we've thought about shepherds and an angel. In fact, his appearance has terrified those humble shepherds. But the grace of God is such that this fear is quickly removed. The angel reassures the shepherds. Luke 2 verse 10, do not be afraid. God wishes the shepherds to have faith and not fear. And instead of fear, there is to be joy. Verse 10, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people, declares the angel. And when the angel speaks of good news, that is a phrase full of meaning from the Old Testament, not least from the prophet Isaiah. Listen to Isaiah chapter 40, verses 9 to 11. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout, lift it up, do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, here is your God. See, the sovereign Lord comes with power and he rules with a mighty arm. See, his reward is with him and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that are young. So here in Isaiah 40, good news is about the coming of God who comes with great kingly power but also with tender shepherd care. Now listen to Isaiah 52 verse 7. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of those who bring good news, who proclaim peace, who bring good tidings, who proclaim salvation, who say to Zion, your God reigns. Good news in Isaiah 52 is about the reign of God, who brings salvation, who proclaims peace. So here in Luke 2, when the angel speaks of good news, it is a phrase with great meaning. Good news is truly found in God the King coming to this world. And indeed in Luke, he frequently speaks about the good news that Jesus brings. So Luke chapter 8 verse 1, Jesus goes about proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Well, we all like good news, don't we? Good news brings us joy. But here the news is so good, it will cause great joy. And that great joy that is found in Jesus is for all the people, shepherds and kings, Jew and Gentile, male and female, people from every nation, race and tongue. This good news is for everyone, including yourself. After a year of so much bad news, may you know the great joy of the good news of Jesus this Christmas. And may that encourage you on in faith and not fear. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Christmas is good news. Whatever our circumstances, help us to find great joy in Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Wednesday. See you tomorrow.